Since NASA's creation in 1958, astronauts have landed on the moon, driven robot rovers on Mars, discovered thousands of planets that orbit stars outside of this solar system. The list goes on. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope alone reveals the clearest images ever observed of the outer limits or our universe's limitlessness, opening up new research opportunities and paths of exploration. These astounding videos will only bring the inner astronaut out in all of us. 15 mysterious NASA discoveries that will leave you speechless. Sunbursts Being a very hot star, the sun behaves more or less like a giant nuclear reactor, and researchers have recorded footage of many so-called sunbursts. Some of these events come just with a solar flare stretching out into the atmosphere, or some with an additional ejection of solar material called a coronal mass ejection, or CMEs, and others come with complex moving structures that loop up and back into the sun's sizzling atmosphere. And as you can see, these events can be explosive and a little terrifying. Here's a little Sun 101. The Sun is composed of plasma, a gas in which the negative electrons move freely around the positive ions, forming a powerful mix of charged particles. We've all been told not to look directly into the blindingly bright ball of fire, but this video gives you a spectacular view of the Sun's fiery surface bursting with flares five times bigger than the size of our planet. The ejected material either escapes the sun's gravitational pull and ripples through space or falls back toward the surface. And if aimed the right way, these charged particles carried on the solar wind can slam into Earth's upper atmosphere, producing colorful auroras, such as northern lights, easily visible in our nighttime skies. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. Astronauts were shocked to find this in space, us too. It looks like ancient ruins on the moon. But is that even a thing? Recently at a press conference, scientists were there to reveal ancient artificial structures on the moon, alleged suppressed evidence including photos of Apollo astronauts walking amid apparent lunar ruins. Reporters from media organizations came to see proof of aliens. They scrutinized grainy blow-ups of old NASA photos and slides of impossibly fuzzy objects including a blob that the assembled research team called the castle, and an extraordinary, highly geometric, glittering glass object hanging more than nine miles above the surface of the moon. The collective media didn't snort with laughter and walk out. Instead, journalists politely asked how these astounding lunar discoveries could have been covered up, how long ago the ancient structures were built, and why the aliens chose the moon to build on. In response, Conspiracy theorists thrive on the notions of corrupt government bureaucrats harboring incredible secrets like these. But people can't help hoping that aliens built castles on the moon. It is a cool concept, right? This picture captures it perfectly. Real or ridiculous? Comment below using hashtag sweet topic. Asteroid busting spacecraft. As part of a planetary defense solution, a NASA spacecraft successfully crashed into an asteroid recently. It was an unprecedented dress rehearsal for the potential day a rock from space actually threatens our planet. The galactic slam occurred at close to seven miles away, with a spacecraft named DART, short for Double Asteroid Redirection Test, ramming a harmless asteroid at 13,980 miles an hour in an attempt to alter its orbit. And it worked. Telescopes around the world and in space captured the moment. The $325 million mission is the first attempt by any space agency to shift the position of an asteroid in space, and the NASA team erupted into applause right after impact. A representative from NASA's mission control told press, I think Earthlings should sleep better. Definitely I will. The mission's target was this 520-foot fast-spinning asteroid, orbiting the sun for eons without threatening Earth and making it the ideal save-the-world test candidate. And although the impact was immediately obvious, it will take a couple of months to determine how much of the asteroid's path was changed by the collision. The fact that DART, which is only the size of a vending machine, traveled through space and successfully hit its target in space is itself a fantastic achievement. Glitch in Space 
The International Space Station, a football field-sized research laboratory in low Earth orbit, has housed international crews of astronauts for more than two decades, with Russia, the United States, Japan, Canada, and the European Space Agency counted as the laboratory's primary users. And this recent spacewalk was planned to install cameras and make adjustments to a robotic arm that will be used to remotely move equipment outside of the station. But things didn't go as planned. The spacewalk ended hours earlier than planned because of a glitch in space, a wardrobe malfunction. The cosmotot discovered an electrical issue with his spacesuit. The Russian astronaut was roughly two hours into a six-hour spacewalk when voltage levels in his spacesuit's battery began to unexpectedly drop, prompting flight controllers to repeatedly order him to immediately return to the space station's airlock. He risked losing power to his suit's oxygen pump and contact with mission control if he did not immediately return to the airlock for power. So he did. <laughs> Statue of Liberty-sized rocket NASA paraded its newest mega rocket to the launch pad in Cape Canaveral, Florida recently. The U.S. Space Agency is readying the 5.75 million pound rocket for a mission to the moon. Known as Artemis 1, it's the first in a series of deep space exploration voyages. What makes this rocket stand out is its incredible height. It towers above the Statue of Liberty and London's Big Ben, comparable in size to Saturn V, the rocket used for the Apollo missions. The journey from storage to the launch pad is about 4 miles and it took around 11 hours for the mega rocket to lumber down the path on a crawler transporter. Once the rocket docked at the launch pad, the team connected the mobile launcher to utilities such as water for fire suppression, power, and air. Lastly, the team loaded the core and upper stages of the rocket with propellant, liquid hydrogen, and liquid oxygen. At its Kennedy Space Center launch pad, the fully assembled 322-foot rocket will undergo a so-called wet dress rehearsal because the crucial test involves filling the rockwood with liquid fuel. Only after successfully completing this loading and countdown simulation will NASA set a date for the first lunar mission. Moon Explosion In 2013, a meteorite slammed into the surface of the moon. Scientists say the space rock was traveling at around 56,000 miles per hour when it crashed, creating a flash of light so bright it could be seen without a telescope. The explosion is the biggest ever recorded by NASA and triggered a flash of light 10 times brighter than any previous lunar impact. Incredibly, it's believed to have measured no more than 15 inches across. But experts say the force of the impact, equivalent to setting off four tons of dynamite, would have made a crater up to 65 feet wide. A meteorite is a solid piece of debris from an object, such as a comet, asteroid, or meteoroid, that originates in outer space and survives its passage through the atmosphere to reach the surface of the planet or moon. And because the moon has no atmosphere, an impact is pretty much inevitable. Unlike on Earth, meteorites do not burn up as they approach the surface. Scientists didn't see this impact occur in real time. It was only when an analyst at NASA reviewed a video of the bright moon crash recorded by one of the moon monitoring program's 14-inch telescopes that the event was discovered. NASA astronomers haven't seen anything this powerful before. Space Shipwreck while looking for hints of past microbial life on Mars, NASA's Perseverance rover recently spotted some strange debris caught in a jagged rock. It's thermal material the space agency uses to protect spacecraft from extreme temperatures as it journeys through space. However, the big question is how the foil-like debris found its way to this region in Mars's Jezero crater, over a mile from where landing gear crashed. Did this piece of debris land here after that, or was it blown here by the wind on the red planet? The Perseverance rover expertly landed, but on its way down, the spacecraft holding the rover ditched a variety of instruments, such as a heat shield, a supersonic parachute, and a rocket-powered sky crane that lowered the rover to the ground. The car-sized robot has already driven by its disposable parachute, so it's not surprising the rover now stumbled upon more landing debris. Of course, many folks left comments online about humans leaving waste wherever they go, We've now started to dump waste on other planets, said one person. They have a point. Deep sea explorations have found trash in the deepest ocean, 35,000 feet beneath the surface. Now there's also trash on Mars. Maybe the rovers can clean up after themselves when they're done exploring. <laughs> Mystery Light 
This black and white raw image from Mars was taken by NASA's Curiosity rover's NAVCAM, which acts as sort of an eye, in 2019 and transmitted back to Earth. And NASA has released the photo showing a mysterious, unexplained white light. The rover snapped a series of images, and the bright blip only appears in one. It's unclear exactly what the white spot on the photograph is, as images were taken almost immediately before and after do not show the mysterious white light. The rover has two nav cams and 17 cameras, and it's been sending photographs continuously since it landed on the red planet in 2012. So, this is not the first time an anomaly of this sort has been spotted by Curiosity on Mars. In 2014, a separate mysterious white spot was seen by the rover. At the time, scientists believed that the light could be a glint from the rock's surface reflecting the sun. The research team thinks this particular mystery light might be a meteorite because it's so shiny. But NASA wrote in a mission update, looks can deceive and the proof will only come from the chemistry. A NASA spokesperson told the press that the anomaly is likely an effect of the sun and are seen pretty routinely. Melted cameras When a rocket launches, it's an explosive situation. But when a SpaceX rocket launch sparks a brush fire that melts a photographer's camera, it goes viral. And that's just what happened to a NASA photographer. This charred camera met a fiery doom. The photographer shared photos of social media. One showed a launch photo taken by the camera. In the next image, flames lick at the lens. And finally, you see the charred, bubbled camera remains. Not surprisingly, the photos went viral, but many folks commented that the photographer must have placed his camera too close to the rocket and got burned. That's not the case. The camera was a quarter mile from the launch pad and outside a safety perimeter, mounted on a tripod secured to the ground by spikes. It was a grass fire sparked by the Falcon 9's launch that burned the camera. Once the fire reached the camera, it was quickly engulfed. The body started to melt, NASA officials wrote in a statement. When the photographer returned to the site, firefighters were waiting to greet him. Recognizing the camera was destroyed, he forced open the body to see if its memory card could be salvaged. It could, which is how we can see the fire approaching the camera. <laughs> Fake Mars Mission A team of six volunteer scientists completed one of the most extensive studies of life on a distant planet by closing themselves off to the rest of the world for eight months. In this intense simulation, the goal wasn't so much to stay alive, but to see how isolation and the lack of privacy in a small group affects would-be space explorers. In a project known as High Seas, short for Hawaiian Space Exploration Analog and Simulation, the simulation took place atop the Mauna Loa Volcano in Hawaii. The site was chosen because it shows little signs of human existence and even plants are scarce at this altitude. In other words, it's one of the few places on Earth that can offer researchers few of the signs of their home planet without having to leave it. This was the third and longest of the simulation missions. The group also experimented with many budding technologies future Mars explorers could employ during real expeditions to the Red Planet. Although social interactions were the primary study area for this mission, the teams had to do without almost all the other normal elements of human life on Earth. The fake Mars mission research is expected to influence NASA's decision when composing crews for future missions to Mars. <laughs> Astronaut Robot This machine is one of the most advanced humanoid robots in the world. Meet NASA's newest astronaut, Valkyrie. Weighing 275 pounds and standing 5 feet 9 inches tall, Valkyrie will enable breakthroughs in humanoid control, motion planning, and perception. At first sight, it might look a little like Iron Man. The glowing circle on her chest marking its status, blue when motors are engaged, for example. But draw back the infrared transparent faceplate and you'll find a whirring sensor that's constantly scanning the surroundings for objects and obstacles. The brains of the robot are two advanced computers which combine the sensor's input and determine the best course of action. On each three-fingered hand, 38 sensors help maintain dexterity. Numerous small motors control the robot's 44 degrees of freedom, including seven jointed arms. All of that sensing, computing, and moving will be essential to Valkyrie's future missions on Mars. While NASA initially developed the robot for disaster relief, the agency changed course to reconfigure it for deep space. As one of a class of caretaker robots, Valkyrie might help set up living compounds on Mars. 
maintaining power and life support systems until humans arrive. Lobster Nebula This is where stars are made, at least some of them. NGC 6357 is a diffused nebula in the constellation Scorpius, located about 8,000 light years away from Earth. Known as the Lobster Nebula, it's an active star forming region filled with cosmic gas and dust in newborn stars. The nebula contains many protostars shielded by dark disks of gas and young stars wrapped in expanding cocoons or expanding gases surrounding these small stars. The Lobster Nebula region is home to a star cluster that contains some of the most massive known stars in our home galaxy. Why is the Lobster Nebula forming some of the most massive stars known? No one is quite sure. An appropriately named dark energy camera at an observatory in Chile has been used to capture the star forming region. The overall glow near the inner star forming region results from the emission of ionized hydrogen gas. The surrounding nebula, featured here, holds a complex tapestry of gas, dark dust, stars still forming, and newly born stars. The intricate patterns are caused by complex interactions between interstellar winds, radiation pressures, and magnetic fields. It definitely takes a lot of working parts to make one perfect star happen. Seven-Year Wave Volcanic eruptions remind us that the inside of our planet isn't exactly peaceful, but there's plenty of undiscovered activity beneath our feet. And recently, scientists detected a completely new type of magnetic wave. Strangely, it surges through Earth's outer core every seven years, warping the strength of our planet's magnetic field in the process. Using a fleet of satellites, the researchers pinpointed the mysterious waves to the outermost layer of Earth's liquid outer core right where that layer meets the rocky mantle, roughly 1,800 miles below the planet's surface. They move along the Earth's axis of rotation, creeping from east to west in tall columns that can travel up to 930 miles per year. Satellite measurements of the magnetic field show that the field's strength dips every seven years or so, coinciding with the oscillations of these newfound waves. The source of these waves remain a mystery for now, but they likely stem from disturbances deep within the Earth's core. According to the researchers, the existence of these waves could help explain mysterious fluctuations in the planet's magnetic field, which is generated by the movement of liquid iron in the planet's outer core. Mysterious Heartbeat First found in 2007, astronomers detected a mysterious radio signal that sounded kind of like a heartbeat. The signal is known as a fast radio burst, or FRB, an intensely strong flash of radio waves coming from an unknown point of origin. Most FRBs last only a few milliseconds, but the new signal is much longer, about three seconds, making it the longest FRB ever discovered. Moreover, it produces bursts of radio waves that repeat every 200 milliseconds, making it the FRB with the clearest periodic pattern ever detected. But astronomers have long puzzled over the source of these sudden, bright flashes. But because FRBs erupt predominantly from galaxies millions or even billions of light years away and flare quickly and often only at once, scientists have struggled to identify their origins. But they do know that fast radio bursts discharge more energy in a few milliseconds than the sun does in a year. There are not many things in the universe that emit signals like this. Examples that we know of in our own galaxy are radio pulsars and magnetars, which rotate and produce a beam emission similar to a lighthouse. And NASA thinks these mysterious heartbeat FRBs could be a pulsar on steroids. <laughs> Mars Metal This rock is not like the others on the red planet. NASA's Mars rover Curiosity stumbled upon the dark gray golf ball-sized object recently, Curiosity's science team dubbed the newfound meteorite Egg Rock, and as you can see, it looks nothing like the typical red-orange rocks that are normally seen there. To figure out exactly what this weird rock is and where it came from, Curiosity used its onboard rock zapping laser to analyze the rock's chemical composition. This strange rock is made up of iron, nickel, phosphorus, and a few other trace elements, which led scientists to conclude that it's a meteorite that's non-native to the red planet. These types of meteorites come from the molten cores of asteroids. They've been discovered on both Earth and Mars in the past, and this is the first time that Curiosity's laser-firing spectrometer, the ChemCam, 
has been used to study such a rock. Curiosity came across the meteorite in an area called the Murray Formation in Mars's lower Mount Sharp. The rover will continue to explore this area as part of its extended mission, which is focused on learning how Mars's environment changed over time and whether the environment could have possibly harbored life in the past. Earth-sized storm Jupiter is the fifth planet from our Sun and is by far the largest planet in the solar system. And the planet's infamous red spot is a persistent high-pressure region in the atmosphere, producing an anti-cyclonic storm that's the largest in the solar system. Observations from 1665 to 1713 are believed to be of the same storm. If this is correct, it's existed for hundreds of years. And since 1878, the Earth-sized storm has been under continuous observation. And today, the world's newest and biggest space telescope is showing Jupiter as never before, auroras in all. The infrared images were artificially colored in blue, white, green, yellow, and orange to make the features stand out. Jupiter's great red spot stands out brightly alongside countless smaller storms. Located 22 degrees south of Jupiter's equator, it produces wind speeds of up to 268 miles per hour. Not only that, the storm has sped up over the last decade. Data showed that the wind speeds at the edges of the Great Red Spot have increased by 8%. The anticyclone has also changed its shape, going from oval to circular. But making detailed observations of Jupiter from Earth is challenging. To really see what's happening inside the storm, we need to visit Jupiter. These videos may leave us all speechless, but they also give us so much to talk about. That's what's so great about space exploration, and nobody explores space better than NASA. Keep up the good work 